my channel. Today we're going to be doing a kind of very pink glam get ready with me type of video. I'm going to be testing out the Amrezy palette. I got it for Christmas. Just like, <laughs> please. I mean, y'all, we wasn't ready. When this palette first came out, I didn't even about it, but... Now I really wanted it and I got it for Christmas. I had my eye on it. Some people gave this palette mixed reviews. I think it's super pretty. The lashes in my look, I'm not that happy with, but that's part of my skill level and just finding a good eyelash for your shape. Start off 2021 feeling just like a little bit prettier, a little bit, um, you know, glam, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what kind of looks you guys want to see in the future, if you have any inspirations for makeup. I want to do more inspired color looks this year. That's one of my, not resolutions, but just like goals. I also want to learn how to apply some lashes. These lashes aren't the best on my eye shape, but it's chill, we're learning. Also, should I cut my hair short? Like, like, you know, like that, like that bob, like that, can I get a manager haircut, you know? I've done that before. I actually think it's really bomb. Anyways, let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be trying out the new, well, it's new to me. It's been out. The Amrezy palette. I know a lot of you guys already been having this palette and knowing your thoughts on it, but I just thought I'd go ahead and we'll film my get ready with me palette. So here are the shades. I mean, I don't know if it picks up on camera just how stunning these are, but yeah. We're gonna get into it. So I already prepped my eyes with my Mac Pep, uh, Mac Prep and Prime, and I tried a new technique. I'm doing the Shape Tape with Tarte and the Mac Prep and Prime. I mix them and then I set them with a little bit of the Benefit Loose Powder Semsa, which is this shade right here on my Mac. 217s brush i've never used this brush before it's new to me mac reformulated their brushes to be synthetic so i think this is synthetic and i'm kind of scared about that but yeah taking this in the crease she's gonna need some build up you know abh powders are so or powders shadows are so powdery that i'm just kind of making sure i really tap off this brush so i tried to film a new year's get ready with me and it was just like a total fail so i thought i'd try again and i have to say when you film a get ready with me if you're new to filming or if you're someone like me who's been watching people film them for a long time you're gonna realize that if your eyeshadow is patchy and you're filming it you will you will find out things you never do about your makeup once you start filming so it kind of does make you better at applying your makeup in the sense that like you're putting your makeup for the world to see you're not gonna want it to be patchy or bad so so far this color is super pretty not as much fallout as i anticipated if you guys have this palette please let me know below i've been obsessed with looking at tutorials of people wearing this palette creating different looks with it it's interesting because like when it first came out i was just so not into this palette i was just i don't know i just felt like other abh palettes like norvina and soft glam were doing more for me you know as far as like color story and like how much i would want those palettes in my life but this amrezy palette it's not that i dislike amrezy i just don't really know much about her or care which that sounds like mean but i don't mean to mean i mean i just don't know her not like i'm familiar with her work but i was never like a huge amrezy stan like almost a year after this palette came out because it came out sometime in 2020 i believe i got like major major craving to pick this guy up and try it out and see what it's about i've been trying a new technique where i really take my shadows up and out and to the side really bring it out there which is not something i used to do and also take my color closer to my tear duct and all the way through my crease which i used to be scared to do but you know how sometimes if you don't put makeup here it just looks like this emptiness it looks funky this mac 217 is putting in the work she is Allowing me to do a lot of blending. I'm gonna try to build up the color more on the end of the outer corner of my eye, maybe like outer third. God, I already had a large coffee today, but I so badly want to go and get a boba. I want to do a look that's like really giving it to you, but also very wearable and girly and feminine. But so far, just based off Sensa, I'm I fuck with this palette. I want these colors to be as different use as possible this is just a target brand um tapered not too fluffy not too dense blending brush and it's clean i'm just gonna go over whatever i've done see how we're going out all the way here i don't know how this is coming up on camera now i'm just gonna take this shade cupcake which is kind of like a lavendery purpley pink really pretty with just my pinky finger and pack this on the outer corner 
of my eye. That was a really pretty shimmery color. I want to see if you guys can see that. With the brush that came in the palette, I'm going to take the shade Wasted. Just that kind of cream colored shade. It's kind of like a cream color with the pinky undertones to it under my brow. So far, I really like this palette. I can't wait to make so many looks with this. My I only owned one before. It was the Modern Renaissance when it first came out. And that palette, when it came out, was like, she was an it girl, that palette. Everyone lost their minds. We hadn't really seen a color story like that in the mainstream. And I feel like it was just one of those products where you wanted to get your hands on it. I ordered my sister one off of, I think, Amazon or eBay because everywhere was sold out and she wanted her own. This was like a year after the hype. Or maybe it was that same time. I don't know. But we got it. It was beautiful. She loved it. And then slowly over time, she realized, Hers was a fake, like a real someone made because they knew that everyone wanted these palettes. And she was really pumped about it. And I was bummed because I paid like that. I paid the Anastasia Beverly Hills price tag for a fake palette. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go into Barb. She is like a, let me get closer. This Barb shade, I don't know if it's gonna pick up. She is like a pink duochrome shimmery shadow with like a green shift. It's so freaking pretty. It's one of the main reasons I wanted this palette. I don't know how all this is picking up on camera, but this shade is giving me a new perspective on 2021. It's so fucking pretty. I'm gonna try it with the finger. Yeah. These shimmers do apply better with finger now that I've tried both. So, ye. Are you guys seeing this? Like, I've never owned a shade this beautiful as far as like duochrome. I only have a few duochrome. I literally wish they sold Barb in a single. I'm going back to that pinky purple Semsa color. Just making sure she doesn't get lost in the sauce here. I've been trying to blend with my eyeshadow. Uh, my hand up above my eyes and looking down and blending this way. I heard you get a better blend. So, let me know if you guys have tried that tip. And if it worked for you. Okay, okay. A bitey interruption. It's Luli. <laughs> okay, you guys are fired. Makeup wipe. Just taking off whatever concealer and primer got in my brows somehow. I like this eyeshadow. We're gonna go ahead and do our base. I'm gonna use a foundation I haven't used before. So we're gonna go ahead and use this L'Oreal Fresh Wear Infallible L'Oreal 24 Hour Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 455 Natural Buff. Oh, she's running, she's running, she's running. Holy shit. This was a lot, I don't know for some reason, I thought this would be really thick, but it's not. So that's interesting. This is a little bit warmer than me. This is like my sister's perfect shade match. She's a little bit more neutral and I have a lot more olive. So like me, I never find a good shade match. It's fine. I'm just using my Papa AOA Beauty Blender. It's like $1.55 for this beauty blender and it's seriously the best. I prefer this to, if not like equally as much, to the Real Beauty Blender, like the brand Beauty Blender. I also like Real Technique sponges, but sometimes I get tired of them just because of the fact that I feel like they absorb a lot of product and then I have to do double work like going in and correcting that. But those are also pretty decent sponges in my opinion. But I don't know if they're the best. I feel like before we knew that all these other brands were gonna come out with sponges they were even better but i think now like you know how the makeup market is saturated even the sponge market is saturated now i'm gonna go in for another half pump this did dry down kind of quickly so keep that in mind when applying this this is a pretty full coverage foundation already i feel like my skin looks a lot more even um this shade match mm. A little bit, I don't know, different. It's okay. You know, it's not the best. It's not the worst. We can work with it. I'm gonna take this Becca under eye corrector. This stuff is, you need something to correct under your eyes and brighten them because you just have natural divots and dark circles. This product will definitely do that for you. Just careful when you get close to your eyeshadow with it because I've definitely fucked that up before. I press it into my skin. I try to like dab it, but you can see what a big difference that just this product makes alone. I will definitely repurchase when this is out. Okay. I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick in Mocha to bronze and contour. And then this is just a Real Techniques contour fan brush that I'm just gonna use to blend this into my skin. And I do this first with a sponge, or sorry, first with a brush, and then I go back into it with a sponge and I try to soften it and blend it more seamlessly. But I just find this to be the most flattering method for me to do it. And I try to blend this upward 
into my cheekbone as opposed to dragging it down. Lately, I've been combining these two concealers. One is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number five. This is like a lightweight concealer, well, medium to light. The thing about this one is that you have to keep dipping in and out of it. It looks like a pencil. And also the Dose of Colors concealer. Um, this is a really good concealer. It's more similar to Tarte Shape Tape. I've been into combining these two, this medium light to this full, and I get the best coverage and blend. I put the lighter or the lighter coverage concealer generously, and then I add additional coverage with the more full coverage one, and I use less of the Dose of Colors one because it's more full, and that's how I get a really good skin like. Finish. You let this sit too long and it dries too much. ColourPop Pretty Fresh fixes all that. It just rehydrates it so it's more emollient again and you can blend it fast. Well, not fast, but like you can get back to business. I'm gonna start blending with the same sponge I use for the cream contour. I have been trying to learn how to do nose contour for a large hook nose that's kind of narrow because if you don't do any nose contour it just looks kind of funny because it's the same color as the rest of your face but if you do too much then your nose will look kind of squidwardy so i'm trying to avoid that i'm just going back into that cream contour and onto this angled let me see if i can show it to you it's kind of an angled fluffy brush the morphe e62 this one is for nose contour i'm just going to try to go and onto the nose just so it's not so much one color i am using the benefit boing under eye setting powder um, i'm gonna bake a little bit i don't usually do that but i decided for today's look i'm gonna go ahead and do that going back to that dark pink color in sensa i'm gonna try to diffuse this and connect it with under my eye i'm gonna add a little more barb to my inner corner Barb is really everything. Holy shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Anastasia Dark Brown Dual Brow Powder to fill in my brows. My brows are really dark right now. I'm probably gonna bleach them tonight. I think this look would be prettier with, I'm gonna wipe off that uh, big powder. I think this look would be way prettier with brown brows compared to black brows on me, but you can still make it work. Next thing I'm gonna use is my matte pressed powder in medium. Go with this fluffy brush. And I also put it on my neck for continuity of face color. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Liner. This is in the matte black. Um, I have their blue shade of this, which is super pretty, and I just recently bought this one. So we'll see how it is. You guys are unimpressed by my wing liner. Just know I'm on a wing liner journey in 2021. So I'm learning. <sighs> I'm gonna apply some of the, these lashes went on kind of janky to be honest with you, but it is what it is. They're already on my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this Essence Extreme Lasting Cream Liner in shade Silky Nude. So, so far I don't like these lashes I'm wearing and I don't like how I apply them. I'm using the AOA Studio Lashes. I think this is in the style Tracy, and then their black lash glue. Their black lash glue did transfer right here. I don't know if it'll show on camera, but I'm gonna generously apply this MAC blush and blush baby. So pretty. This blush is new to me, but I do think that this blush, like this side with blush, this side without, so much prettier with in my opinion i'm a blush girl for sure if you don't have this blush and blush baby and you're anywhere near my skin tone and you like just true like a girly pink blush this is the one for you baby put a little on my nose rodeo drive ofra on just any fan brush put a little bit under here because i don't care i need to spit on my nose oh yay Highlighter is so pretty. I'm gonna take some of this MAC bronzer. I've been really like uh, this is quite a Not a dark but not a light medium shade bronzer. It's very warm This is really good for someone who wants a tan that looks like bronzy not very golden or orange So this is really good for that. I think this would be really flattering on a lot of medium tone skin tone girls. Oh, and this is my Morphe E4 I just use this to a bronze tour. I think that this side looks better already just with the little extra bronzer up in the mix. This is just kind of a, a little bit cooler tone brown. Lip liner by MAC and this is stripped down. I really- no, you know what? I don't want to use stripped down. I lied. Okay, I really wanted Morphe Sweet Tea for this. This is like a medium brown. 
uh, nude lip contour color. This is just creates a really nice job doing lip contour for me. And it's very versatile. I've seen so many people use it. Overline my cupid's bow. And overline right here on my lip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take Max Blankety. This is just a true like pinky nude. I'm gonna take MAC Dazzle Class Lip Gloss. This is just like your true two, early 2000s baby pink. I love this color. I think I would want to wear the slip gloss color on my wedding day. That's how pretty I think it is. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be back. So the finish looked, looked, the finish look, I think this look came out super, super bomb. The one thing that I wish I could do better was I think these lashes from AOA Studio are not the one for me. I ordered some more off Amazon. If you know any good lashes, let me know. I also need to work on my wing eyeliner technique because when I open my eyes, I have this drooping come in. But I think the look all together is really pretty. Let me know if you guys have this palette or not. I really am interested if you guys have tried ABH, which I'm sure you have. What's your favorite ABH palette? Foundation. Let's go back to this L'Oreal Infallible Wear. This is really nice. Matte, but not that disgusting disgusting dry matte that some foundations do. I really like this so far. I'll see how it wears and test that up to 24 hours because I'm gonna go out and about and run some errands and I'll be wearing a mask. So I mean, that's a true test these days is a mask. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and get ready with me. I will see you next time. I love this palette. I'm gonna give it 8.5 out of 10 just because I can't be giving it that full grade without trying it really. I need to learn how to do eyelashes like eh, stat, so. Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.